Hi everyone, this is Amy Clark Smith, Clark Smith Adventures. You have to excuse the 50,000 layers of clothing that I have on, but it is freezing here in Maryland. Mm. Although, I do have these fancy pants on today. I'm a fancy pants. Yeah, baby. Sheeta. So, everybody was like, Amy Clark Smith. Amy Clark Smith. You have to, oh my God, oh my God. You have to watch the Surviving R. Kelly show on whatever, Lifetime or whatever the hell. And at first I was like, ugh. I don't want to watch him. He's a weirdo. But then I started watching him, and I, you know, I started watching the show, and I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop watching it. It was literally like jaw dropping. I was glued to the damn TV. Ask my husband. I, he was like, "What? Like, I don't understand what's so great about this show." So. All I gotta say from watching the show, my first thought on this show is, R. Kelly, you are a nasty somebody. You are a peepee -pee head old man head sucker. He's freaking disgusting. Like he is bleh. Like, you're gonna pee on little girls. You're, I mean, okay. I understand that you were abused. And it, abuse is bad in all aspects. But there are other things you can do besides gather up little children and hold them hostage in your flat and pee on them and give them buckets to poop in. I mean, you are a disgusting human being. I never really cared for him. I mean, like, I, I liked his music back in the day. You know, I, I liked his music, but I never really, I, I, like, I never thought he was good looking. I always thought he looked like a blind person. Like, I, when he first came out with R. Kelly in the public announcement, you know that, remember that song? She's got that vibe. 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 I literally thought he was blind. Like, I thought he was a blind man. Like, I'm thinking, oh, he's blind. And, like, if you just, like, look at him, he just looks like... I can never listen to Honey Love ever again. Because it reminds me of Pee Pee. I think these women are courageous for having to put up with this because he lured them in. It wasn't like they really, like some of them probably knew that, you know, he had, he liked younger women. He liked girls. He was hanging out at the McDon damn McDonald's, like Ronald McDonald in the Playland, you know, uh, he was hanging around schools and shit. And I'm sure some of the women, like, kind of figured, you know, he likes younger women. But he lured them in, and he went out with them. And he was peachy keen. And he was, you know, like, hey, I love you, dude. And then all of a sudden, he just snapped. He changed. It was like a game to him. Like, Women are not a game. People are not a game, R. Kelly. I bet you playing games now that you're gonna be broke because everybody knows you a damn child molester. My mind's telling me no! And my body is telling me yes! You nasty somebody. Dude, what was up with his brother? His brother that was in jail like what was up with him he was all like yeah yeah he always hung out at the McDonald's he always liked young women that's just his preference anyway I think that the women are courageous for leaving him I think the women are courageous for staying with him 
But what I don't understand is that if you notice, <laughs> excuse me, throughout this whole documentary or show, whatever, is that every one of those women said, yeah, and when I got fed up, I left. I don't know, maybe they hadn't, like, they had to wait until he left town to leave. But everyone said, yeah, I just left. I just left. I just got sick of it, and I just left. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. You know, I pray for those women. They fought. They're courageous. And R. Kelly, you need Jesus. You definitely need Jesus in your life. Because that is disgusting. Like, no normal person is like, I'm going to keep all these women, like, caged animals in rooms and give them a bucket to poop in. Like, you need Jesus. Somebody needs to do that to your ass. Someone needs to pee pee in your face. See how you like it. Everyone have a good day. Clark Smith Adventures. Till next time.